there is a concept known as six degrees of separation, which is the idea that all people are six or fewer social connections away from each other somehow. When someone says it's a small world, this is the idea they're referring to. No one knows whether or not we really are just six degrees away from everyone else on the planet, but we are all interconnected in some way. God created us to be in relationship and to interact with people. We know this because his own nature is one of relationship. He is a triune God, so he's in relationship with himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Creator connects us through relationships. Think about the people who have a positive influence on your life. Who do you look up to? Why? We're not talking about a celebrity or someone who passed away before you were born. Who is someone you actually see in daily life who points you toward Jesus? Now think about the people you are influencing. Who looks up to you? Maybe it's a sibling or a teammate. You may think no one is watching, but this is what Corps Cadets is all about. You are learning about the Bible and the Salvation Army heritage so you can be a leader to others and a better disciple of Jesus. All Salvationists should mentor someone. Corps Cadets should mentor junior soldiers. Here are three simple steps to a basic Christian mentoring relationship. Ask them how their life is going. Share a verse of scripture with them. Pray with them. Mentoring is especially important for those who have one or more negative influences in their daily life. Mentoring can help counteract negative messages. In fact, it can turn someone's life around completely. Be sure you are not being a negative influence on someone else and ask God's help to see who may be a negative influence in your life. God wants to help you choose healthy relationships. Here are a few ways to do that. Remember the qualities of healthy relationships? Choose friends who match those qualities. Remember the qualities of unhealthy relationships too? Avoid making friends with people who demonstrate those qualities. Seek God's help through prayer, reading the Bible, and ask for counsel from more mature Christians. Look for a mentor. Be a disciple of Jesus. As his disciple, you will likely attract relationships with other disciples of Jesus. Use discernment. Think about who is good for you and who isn't. Spend time with people who make you better, who bring out the best in you. Naomi and Ruth give us a great picture of a healthy relationship. Paul and Titus teach us how to be a mentor, but you actually have to go and do it for yourself. You don't have to wait for anything. In order to have a mentor, think of someone who is a mature and godly Christian. Someone older than you. Don't try to go with the general of the Salvation Army. Pick someone you know and see regularly. Explain to them that you are looking for a mentor and see if they are willing and available. You also don't have to wait until you are older to mentor someone else. You can find someone younger than you who could benefit from time spent with you, learning from you, sharing common interests, and sharing about your walk with Jesus.